O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, Lord, make make haste to help us. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be glory and praise forever. In the darkness of our sin, you have shown in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Open our eyes to acknowledge your presence, that freed from the misery of sin and shame, we may grow into your likeness from glory to glory. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. peaceful, let us pray with one heart and one mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. Amen. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. I will glory in the Lord, let the humble hear and rejoice. Proclaim with me the greatness of the Lord, let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me out of all my terror. Look upon him and be radiant, and let not your faces be ashamed. I call in my affliction, and the Lord heard me, and saved me from all my troubles. The angel of the Lord encompasses those who fear him, and he will deliver them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy are they who trust in him. Fear the Lord, you that are his saints, for those who fear him lack nothing. 
and listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who among you loves life and deserves no life to enjoy prosperity? Keep your tongue from evil speaking and your lips from lying words. Turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil, to root out the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry, and the Lord hears them, and delivers them from all their trouble. The Lord is near to the broken and will save those whose spirits are crushed. Many are the troubles of the righteous, but the Lord will deliver him out of all them all. He will keep safe all his bones, not one of them shall be broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and those who hate the righteous will be punished. The Lord ransoms the life of his servants, and none will be punished who trust in him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. First lesson is taken from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord of hosts, glean thoroughly as a vine the remnant of Israel. Like a grape gatherer, pass your hand again over its branches. To whom shall I speak and give warning, that they may hear? See, their ears are closed, they cannot listen. The word of the Lord is to them an object of scorn. They take no pleasure in it. But I am full of the wrath of the Lord, I am weary of holding it in. Pour it out on the children in the street and on the gatherings of young men as well. Both husband and wife shall be taken, the old folk and the very aged. Their houses shall be turned over to others, their fields and wives together. For I will stretch out my hand against the inhabitants of the land, says the Lord. For from the least to the greatest of them, everyone is greedy for unjust gain. And from prophet to priest, everyone deals falsely. They have treated the wound of my people carelessly, saying, Peace, peace, when there is no peace. They acted shamefully. They committed abomination, yet they were not ashamed. They did not know how to blush. Therefore, they shall fall among those who fall. At the time that I punish them, they shall be overthrown, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Christ committed no sin, no guile was found on his lips. Christ suffered for you, leaving you an example that you should follow in his steps. He committed no sin, no guile was found on his lips. When he was reviled, he did not revile in turn. When he suffered, he did not threaten, but he trusted himself to God who judges justly. Christ himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed, for you were straying like sheep, but have now returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Christ committed no sin, no guile was found on his lips. 
second lesson is taken from the Gospel of Mark. <clears throat> they came to the other side of the sea, to the country of the Gerasene. And when Jesus had stepped out of the boat, immediately a man out of the tombs with an unclean spirit met him. He lived among the tombs, and no one could restrain him anymore, even with a chain. For he had often been restrained with shackles and chains, but the chains he wrenched apart, and the shackles he broke in pieces. And no one had the strength to subdue him. Night and day among the tombs and on the mountains, he was always howling and bruising himself with stones. When he saw Jesus from a distance, he ran and bowed down before him. And he shouted at the top of his voice, What have you to do with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High? I adjure you by God, do not torment me. For he had said to him, Come out of the man, you unclean spirit. Then Jesus asked him, What is your name? He replied, My name is Legion, for we are many. He begged him earnestly not to send them out of the country. Now they, there on the hillside a great herd of swine was feeding, and the unclean spirits begged him, Send us into the swine, let us enter them. So he gave them permission, and the unclean spirits came out and entered the swine, and the herd, numbering about two thousand, rushed down the steep bank into the sea and were drowned in the sea. The swine herds ran off and told it in the city and in the country. Then people came to see what it was that had happened. They came to Jesus and saw the demoniac sitting there, clothed and in his right mind, the very man who had had the legion, and they were afraid. Those who had seen what had happened to the demoniac and to the swine reported it. Then they began to beg Jesus to leave their neighborhood. As he was getting into the boat, the man who had been possessed by demons begged him that, they, that he might be with him. But Jesus refused and said to him, Go home to your friends and tell them how much the Lord has done for you and what mercy he has shown you. And he went away and began to proclaim in the Decapolis how much Jesus had done for him. And everyone was amazed. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Forsake me not, O Lord. Be not far from me, O my God. Forsake me not, O Lord, be not far from me, O my God. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Be not far from me, O my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Forsake me not, O Lord, be not far from me, O my God. Come, let us return to the Lord, for our God will richly pardon, splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God, for you create everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain, for with your blood you have redeemed for God from every family, language, peoples, and nation a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne and to Christ the Lamb be worship and dominion and splendor forever and forevermore. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. God, you know that we have no power in ourselves to help ourselves. Keep us both outwardly in our bodies and inwardly in our souls, that we may be defended from all adversities which may happen to the body and from all evil thoughts that may assault and hurt the soul. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
eternal God, in whose perfect kingdom no sword is drawn but the sword of righteousness, no strength known but the strength of love, so mightily spread abroad your spirit that all peoples may be gathered under the banner of the Prince of Peace as children of one Father, to whom be dominion and glory now and forever. Amen. Amen. O God, the creator and preserver of all humankind, we humbly pray to you for all sorts and conditions of people, that you would be pleased to make your ways known to them, your saving health to all nations. More especially, we pray to your, for your holy church universal, that it may be so guided and governed by your good spirit, that all who profess and call themselves Christians may be led into the way of truth and hold the faith in unity of spirit in the bond of peace and in righteousness of life. Finally, we commend to your fatherly goodness all those who are in any way afflicted or distressed, in mind, body, or spirit, that it may please you to comfort and relieve them according to their needs, giving them patience in their sufferings and a happy issue out of all their afflictions. And this we beg for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing that you have made and forgive the sins of all those who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may receive from you, the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Trusting in the compassion of God, let us pray with confidence as our Savior has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day.
May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.